Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jose, the California beekeeper. So we just got some product in. It's a Melifura Boost. It's just a supplement. Help the bees out when you are supplementing artificially, as far as like, you know, the corn syrups or the sugar water and the pollen patties that are out there that don't have the essential oils or the things that benefit the bee. It's longevity. That's what we're looking for. We're gonna try this product out and we're gonna show you how to apply it. Uh, we're gonna suit up, get it going. Bada bing, bada boom, let's do it. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you go down below, smash that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up on this video. Take a look at it. So when you order this bucket with the 20 pound, 20 pound bag, you get this ounce scooper, uh, nice handy little scooper. So um, comes with the bucket. Let's take a look, see what we got inside. That 20 pound bag, cut it open, dump it inside. Great. Makes pretty good. So we'll scoop some up, put them in the back ears, and I'll show you what I'm talking about in the back ears. I was talking to David Bradshaw over the phone and just to get how he applies it with his bees. And that way we're showing you how to properly apply it. So let's do it. All right, guys. So we're suited up. We're gonna start dusting some of these. The instructions are pretty much right there. Uh, they have a maintenance and then they have a therapeutic. So on the maintenance, it says apply one scoop, one ounce, um, two times a week apart. So for the therapeutic, they recommend apply two ounces two times um, a week apart as well and you sprinkle them grab your scoop and we selected a few that had a little issues there's there's no products out there that are going to save your queens if you have a bad queen you have a bad queen um, that's the importance of requeening uh, bad queens but these are new queens and we got them started a little later uh, they're singles. We're going to give them a shot and see what we get. Um, we are going to put a can on top as well. And uh, I think these hives, we did not give uh, the next round of pollen. Um, so, But we're going to put this Melifora Boost again. <laughs> this is not going to save your colony if it's dying. Uh, you have to have good queens, uh, good healthy queens, in order to see results that you're hoping for. Um, there isn't any product out there that is going to save your colony. So that's why it's very important to requeen. Requeen those faulty queens, queens that aren't performing the way they need to. So uh, let's get to it and I'll show you guys how to scoop. Let's rock and roll. So the reason why we put the dust in the backside on the back ears of the hive is, is that it, whatever drops down um, isn't pushed out of the hive um, too fast. That way they can consume it. And we've heard these bees just go after this stuff. Um, so, I mean, we're, we, we see here that they're already, there's a few that are already eating it, uh, which is a good sign. And, uh, but so yeah, the purpose of it being on those back bars in, inside of the hive is so they don't push that product immediately out. 
So if you have those hygienic bees, naturally bees will push whatever doesn't belong in the hive. So that at least gives them the opportunity to eat it. But we've heard by so many beekeepers, fellow beekeepers in California, that they do eat it. They're attracted to it. You see results. So... Whew. Jeez. Louise? We're going to put this veil back on, huh? So... Yeah, we've heard from some fellow beekeepers here in California that already tried this product that it's awesome. They're attracted to it, eat it, and they see results. That's what we want to see. You know, at the end of the day, we want to give these bees any kind of supplement that benefits them uh, and gives them the uh, life longevity that we want. In order, especially when you're going through the harsh winter times, um, you know, singles like this, there's so many things that you have to do just in order to get them through that winter. Uh, luckily, we're here in California. You know, we do have the opportunity to do those late splits and still be able to build them out at least as a good, strong single in order to meet those uh, requirements for almond pollination. So, yeah, we're going to keep track of these. We're going to share those results. Um, we're pretty excited to try this new product. This product does help the development of eggs in order to reach the maturity, uh, in order to produce more bees. Um, so these ones have been kind of struggling by even though they have a new queen. So we're hoping that this is something that we could use to see if this actually gives us some results and helps the, well, helps the colony and it helps the immune system um, to help it from cleaning up the guts a little uh, from all the artificial diets that we're giving them this time of year, um, they need something to be able to cleanse them out. It's almost similar to the microbials um, or those products that are out there that are like a probiotic. Um, so I'll put all the, the information on this Melifluor Boost uh, down below. And so make sure you go check that out. We'll drop a um, link to this product and, you know, go ahead and give it a shot. Um, it's always there's something out there that's going to help the bees benefit them to give them a longer lifespan. I'm all for it, you know, um, especially if it's a natural product with natural ingredients. That's pretty important for our operation and really for any beekeeper that's out there. It's, if it's good for your bees, you know, give it a shot and uh, you be the judge as far as does it help your bees, does it not, you know, but um, so hard to keep bees healthy nowadays. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, go down to below, hit that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up on this video. Thanks, guys.